Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's weekly option watch list. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful weekend and are looking forward to getting back to trading here come Monday. So, before I get into the actual five plays I'll be looking at for the upcoming week, I want to do a little market breakdown to see where our indices are at and where we could potentially see them going this upcoming week. So, we'll start off here with the ES futures. We can see that these last few days have been quite bearish on the market. Two strong selling candles here with our Friday close ending right at this session low. Um, this low compression squeeze was firing to the downside giving this move that strength and it is looking quite bearish in my opinion. We have our negatively stacked EMAs well below that 21 EMA and we do have that bearish momentum on the squeeze histogram. So the daily time frame in my opinion is looking very bearish but at these levels I do not want to get short anytime we're below the minus 2 nearing that minus 3 ATR is a higher probability of a reversion back up to the mean than more continued selling so I will be looking for ideally a bounce to start getting short again it does not mean it has to happen but that's what I'll be looking for and then if we look at the weekly time frame here we can see that we went down here, touched the minus 2 ATR, got a reversion back above the 21, but rejected the plus 1 ATR, and now we are starting to fall again, and we are getting more bearish momentum on the squeeze histogram. We have had now two weeks in a row with closes below that 21, so I do think we easily could go retest these previous lows that we've seen on this weekly time frame, so definitely keep your eyes on that in the upcoming week to see if we either retest the 8 EMA or for retest these lows. So those are the levels I'll kind of be looking at for the upcoming week. So those are the ES. Let's go on to the Qs. Qs have just been hammered here. Not even any squeeze here to that was set up on them so it couldn't really play them because it wasn't my strategy. But its structure here alone is still very nice and bearish. You can see we're getting these rejections on the daily time frame of these 21 EMAs multiple times and now we are starting to fall back down to the downside but just like the ES it's at a level now where I don't really want to load up with shorts because there's a higher probability of it reverting back up to this mean now that it has um, down near these minus 2 minus 3 ATRs. We also have negatively stacked EMAs in this one as well so that overall is looking quite bearish on the daily time frame. And now if we come to the weekly this is showing me a strong downtrend now because we have the flush you get the reversion could not hold above that 50 barely holding above the 21 there and then once again just rolling right back over to the downside almost even getting close to retesting these lows already so I think the, there could be a lot more selling coming into the queues here because they do look to be in a nice downtrend now going forward we'll go on to the Dow here this one also was looking actually kind of nice here for a second to the upside. Was holding this 21 pretty nicely and was looking to break out. Could not break out abo above this previous level and then got rejected right back down to the downside, making it now in a much more bearish sentiment. And if we go to the weekly, similar story to the other ones where you get the flush down to the minus 2, you get that nice reversion but it just can't sustain that move to the upside and rolls right back over. This one also does have a nice weekly squeeze setting up that is looking, in my opinion, to fire to the downside. So if early next week we can get another move back up to at least the 8 EMA, I will be looking to take some shorts there on the Dow. And last but not least here, if we come look at the old small caps, similar story, but they've been pounded pretty hard here the last basically year now. Um, so a lot of consolidation, consolidation, finally getting another move to the downside, but hasn't broke any previous support yet. So this could potentially be a place to get a nice reversion to the upside. But if we do break this level, there should be quite a bit more selling here in the small caps due to it having all these previous support levels. Um, if it does break that, I think that this one could get ugly very quick. Now if we look at the weekly, Big flush, consolidation, consolidation, revert back up to the 21, and then once again just completely reject it back down to the downside. If this weekly squeeze does fire to the downside and break these previous supports, 
um, look for anywhere to the minus 2 or the minus 3 ATR for this one to fall as well. So overall, the market is looking very bearish in my opinion. Nothing about it is showing me any strength at all. So I do um, think that the upcoming months, we will have some more weakness in the market. So that being said, I can go over the five plays that I'm looking at for the upcoming week. The first one here is going to be Carnival. So if we zoom in here a little bit, we can see we don't have any stack DMAs. Our price action is kind of pinging back and forth between the plus one and the minus one ATR just because this squeeze is setting up. And we do have the nice bearish momentum here um, with this last candle. I think if we get another reversion back up to the mean um, Monday or Tuesday, that'd be a great time to enter this one to get some shorts on there. Because I think with the overall market looking quite bearish, that most stocks will start to fall um, alongside them. So definitely look for that reversion or a pop back up to this 21 EMA to take an entry on CCL to the downside. Next one here is Foot Locker also to the downside. So they had a big gap down. And since then, all they've done is consolidated. They've made this new squeeze here. And we are getting some nice bearish momentum here on that squeeze. We have negatively stacked EMAs. Our price action is holding below that 21 EMA. Just ideally want to see it revert back up to that level to take our entries. Because our entries are always wanting to be between the 8 and the 21 EMA. Those are our ideal entries. And anytime we're already outside of the minus one or a plus one ATR, that's not a good place in my opinion to get into trade. So look for a version on this one to enter just like with CCL. Alrighty, next one here is Fastly. Similar story to Foot Locker. You get the big gap down and then you get this whole consolidation period. We get the squeeze that's setting up almost falling below the zero line now, but its overall structure is still very bearish. We have negatively stacked DMAs. Our price action is holding below that 21. So I do think that it could make another move back down to the downside, retesting these previous lows here potentially. So look for this one as well for a kind of pop back up to the 8 or 21 for an entry. And then look for um, the minus 2 to the minus 3 to take profits on that one. So those are all my shorts that I have. I do have a few longs in case this market does start to revert back up to that mean. So the first one here is KMI. We have positively stacked DMAs. We're in an acceleration stage. And price action has been looking very nice. You get this nice uptrend. Of course, when the market sells off, most stocks sell off as well. But all this one has done is just reverted right back down to, to the 21 EMA. And it has held that level very nicely here. We are just starting to set up a squeeze here, so I'll just kind of be looking at this one probably later in the week. I want this squeeze to develop a little more, um, but once again, look for that entry near the 21 EMA where it's at right now, and hopefully if the market does decide to bounce a little bit, this one will bounce as well with it to the upside. Alrighty, last but not least here is Tesla also to the upside. So this one is looking solid in my opinion with its structure. We have our stack DMAs. Our price action is kind of pinging back and forth right around the mean here. This squeeze is having some bearish momentum, so I do want to start seeing some yellow bars start com coming into Tesla, but I do think this one could potentially make a another move back up to these previous highs right here if this squeeze does not fire to the downside. It easily could just start to roll over and retest some different levels here if the market decides to roll over itself some more. But if it does start to revert back up to the mean, I think that Tesla could make another pop to the upside. So this is my options watch list for the week. Hopefully it gives you all a few more things to be looking at um, yourself. And let's go out there on Monday and start making some money, everybody.